thing on? Is this thing on? Hi everyone. It is me, Abarugianton. But some people like to call me Enlightened Child. And today, I will be making a special meal for you all today. What meal you ask? Well, I'm here to tell you. No, throughout the galaxy, from our great lord, Abba Pupu Apua. I'm here to show you today the nice hamburger salad, vegan hamburger salad, with a nice bowl of oatmeal to get you started on your day or any time of the day, any time of the month, any time of the year. Ababu Ababu is the greatest god of all time. We at Rancho Cucamonga University Ranch, no relations, are here to serve Ababu Ababu Abu for the rest of our lives. And he has appeared us, he makes us appear. And he has made us prepare meals to make sure our bodies are sustained at the highest level of enlightenment. So hopefully, you learn a couple tricks, a couple pointers, and you also can get enlightened as well. Do you want to know how to make the salad and the oatmeal? Well, let's get into it. So first thing we gotta do is make our bowl of oatmeal. Make sure you grab a bowl, just like this. Place it down onto the surface. Next, what you wanna do is make sure you grab your oatmeal, preferably old-fashioned oats, because that's the only oats that you will need. Now, as far as how much oats you want, doesn't matter. Just place as much as you want. Next, what you wanna do is get some cinnamon. Oh wow, there's a lot of spices in here. You wanna grab some cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. Next, what you wanna do is place the cinnamon in the bowl. Just like this. Don't be stingy with the cinnamon. It's good for the soul. Next, what you wanna do is grab you some of this. Oh wow. Our very own organic chia seeds from a neighboring farm, Charrington Farms. We enjoy every Cheriton Farms product. Thank you for supporting Rancho Cucamonga Ranch University. You want to pour you a little bit of this. Just a little. Not much. Now that you got your bowl ready, next you do, you want to mix up your bowl. Grab you a spoon. My favorite color is blue, so I'm going to make it blue. Mix up the bowl. Just like this. Make sure it's sturdy and tight. Last but not least, you're gonna grab some milk. Unsweetened, of course. Simply truth. Because the only thing that we want is the truth. You wanna pour you as much milk as you want. Just to make sure to cover the oatmeal at the precise amount. Nothing's too little, nothing's too late. Finally, you wanna re-stir it again to make sure all the oats are stirred in properly. Doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look delicious? Last thing you wanna do is to make sure you put the oats in the freezer. This is a personal favorite of mine. Make sure you put the oats in the freezer. Oh golly. Just like that. The reason why I put the oats in the freezer is because you want to let the oats soak for at least five to 10 minutes to probably get acclimated. Now, it's for our main course, the vegan burger salad. Now, there's not too many steps to this, but there's enough steps to get you through your day. Why did I say that? Because Ubedabu told me to. If you have a local farm near you, it'll be optimal enough for you to make sure you cook all your ingredients naturally. Today, I'm going to show you how to cut up the ingredients properly and shelf them to make your life better so you can live a greater life of enlightenment. 
Let's get started. First thing you want to do is grab your bowl. Just like this. A beautiful bowl at that. As you can see, it's enough to hold a nice big salad. The one like I'm making right now. Next you want to do is grab you a big salad. Now, unfortunately, our market closed. So I had to go to the next best thing. I don't like normally buying from big grocery stores because we're not permitted to leave outside the prim premises. But, luckily it's locally grown. Simply true. Baby kale and spinach. Now, this is mixed with arugula. Make sure you grab everything. You want at least two bowls worth. As you can see, this is perfectly enough. Don't mind, don't mind this. It's already pre-washed, but sometimes you want to make sure you want to double wash it just to make sure that it's safe. As you can see, the bowl. Just want to make sure you wash just to make sure to get all, get rid of all the pesky, nasty insecticides that could be lingering in your salad. And then you just wanna, you just wanna, oh, you don't wanna waste all of it now. I might have put a little too much. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is grab your nice little cutting board. Make sure the cutting board is big enough to cut all your vegetables, because you're gonna have to cut them. And preferably a strong knife like this one. As you can see, it's a nice, sturdy, tight, knife that you can cut with pristine -ness. and now as you can see we have an array of vegetables these are all the vegetables that you need in order to make sure that your diet is sustainable now normally I usually double these ingredients but the ranch is kind of out of money at the, at the time so I'm gonna do with the ingredients that I need. Now, let's get to chopping. I will be saving the mushroom and the avocado for last because we will be cooking some of the ingredients tonight as well, along with the vegan hamburger. Now, next, we have the broccoli. One of the most important things that you can eat and yes, we will be eating the whole broccoli. So I will cut it this way. Just like that. And I will cut up the thin. Now you don't want to eat this pot part because I'm not a big fan of it. But little waste is basically no waste. Plop. There it goes. Now as far as the broccoli head goes, we just gonna simply just do this. Now washing the cucumber, I will slice it just like this. You don't want to use the whole cucumber. You don't need the whole cucumber. You just need a little bit of the cucumber. And then next, we're just going to chop it just like that. Three even parts is perfectly good. Slice it down the middle. Don't worry if it's one piece left. One piece go. We believe that everything should be great and green. So I usually put all the green vegetables in first before I move on to any other colored vegetables. At Rancho Cucamoni Manga University College Ranch, we love our spiciness since we are so close to that godforsaken border. So I like a little extra kick if you know what I mean. We're gonna cut the onion in half. Now, big secret with the onion, what you wanna do that gets everybody and why you cry is the onion residue from the knife. So you just wanna wipe the knife off and you won't cry. 
the only time I'm gonna cry is when I see Big Baba Dookie. Now, some people may not like raw onion, but gosh darn it, I do. Raw onion is so important for your balance of, of health. Everything that we eat is nothing but raw and organic. We don't cook or waste any food. So, as you can see, this is what our salad looks now. Pretty big, huh? You thought it wasn't going to be a lot? Well, we got more. Now, I used to not be a big fan of tomatoes. But, when I got older, I grew up and became a man and actually enjoyed tomatoes. Tomatoes are healthy for you. And, they're just good for you. And it's good in the salad. Now, next, we have our two most important ingredients. The ginger and the garlic. These are the two most important ingredients in this salad because this is really what makes the salad great. Now, don't tell everybody the secret that I'm about to give you. What you want to do is cut the ginger just like this. You don't need too much ginger. As you can see, I already pre-cut the garlic. Now, next, what you want to do is just chop up the garlic just like so or ginger, just like so. It doesn't matter how big the chunks are, because let's be honest, it's all just going in our mouth at the end of the day. And we're just gonna put it just like that. Now normally people would shave the outside of the garlic, but I'm not one of those people. Once again, we don't believe in wasting any food. And that includes the skin of food. Because what you need is every part of the ingredient of, the, of each and every vegetable to get the maximum amount of health. And now we're going to simply just do that with the garlic. Now, I'm personally a big fan of garlic. And honestly, you should be too. Garlic is very good for you. And yes, I do eat it raw as well. Like I said, I only go in raw. Last but not least, we have our final ingredients. We have the avocado and the mushroom. And obviously the lemon and lime. But we'll save that for later. What we're going to do is simply just chop up the mushroom and chop up the avocado. Now we're going to do something special with the avocado skin because you know I ranch at Cucamonga Village College Ranch. We don't waste no ingredients. As you can see, I already pre-cut the nut. So we're just gonna simply toss this, toss this in the pan. But before we do that, what we wanna do is just lightly cut the mushroom, just like this. Elegance. You don't have to chop too many. Now normally, I would do two to three mushrooms, maybe four mushrooms, and cut them that way. But we're low on budget, so we only have one mushroom to spare. If you want to support us, leave a like on the video, drop a comment, come through on all the other platforms and social media platforms that we have in the link below if you want to support and want more clicking videos just like this. Now we're going to peel the avocado. As you can see, it's just easy as that. Now you want your avocado to be ripe. As you can see, it's pretty ripe. You're asking yourself, what do we do with the avocado skin and the nut? Well, we're gonna cook it. As you can see, I have a pan with some light oil, olive oil to be exact. And all we're going to do is simply put the nuts over here. And then the skin also in here. Now we're gonna let this cook for at least one to two minutes and then we're gonna add the mushrooms. Now while we're having that having the avocado skin cook I'm going to put some of my last ingredients in there. As you can see our salad is looking mighty fine. I do say so myself but it's missing one ingredient. Now I know it's an avant-garde ingredient but 
you can't never go wrong with it. Sour crowds. Now you're asking yourself, why sour crowds? Well, fermented fruit and vegetables are actually really good for you. And sauerkraut is one of the best things that you can eat, especially for your gut biome. And that's why I eat it. Now that you can see the avocado is cooking and the skin's getting just right, we're gonna put the mushroom in there. The reason why I cook my mushroom is because you want the highest maximum amount the mushroom can give you. And that is better when it's cooked. Normally you would want to sun dry them, but our farm is currently closed right now, so I couldn't get no sun dried mushrooms, so this is gonna be the best. You don't wanna cook them for too long, because then you're gonna burn all the nutrients out of them. Well now it looks like the avocado and the mushrooms are cooked. We're gonna dump it in a salad. And just like that, be careful, it's hot oil. You don't want to hurt yourself. Very dangerous. Leave it to the professionals. It's just like that, you got a nice salad. But we're not done just yet. Next, we're going to put some spices in our nice and delectable salad. Now, this is a great mix. I can't tell you the recipe, obviously, because this is a Rancho Cucamonga Village College University Ranch specialty. But if you want to know the ingredients, leave a like and comment down below and I might let you in on a little secret or two. All we're going to do is just dump just like that right into the bowl. Next, I have apple cider vinegar. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This is as natural as it comes. You want the apple cider vinegar. You want, a, you want it on the salad. Trust me, I promise you, it's good for you, it's healthy for you, and it tastes amazing, depending on who you ask, which is me. Now these next two ingredients are very important to use. We're gonna take the good old hot sauce. The most organic and natural hot sauce that you can get. Just douse it in there, just like that. If you like a little spicy, I prefer to use the hot sauce. You don't have to use it, there's plenty of other alternatives. But hot sauce is good for you. And guess what? It's organic. Now last but not least, you want to get you some olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Now there's some fakes out there and some real ones. This is organic. Straight from the olive vines. It's good for you. You want the extra fat in there to really serve the purpose of a nice, healthy salad. And it tastes good for you. So you're just gonna just do two, and that's it. Now our last ingredient is going to be the burger. Now in this case, it's a vegan burger, 100%, as you can see. Nice and meaty. Now what you wanna do is use it frozen. You don't want to cook it fresh because if you want to be able to chop it up with ease, you want to freeze it. That's just my personal opinion. And this is just the best opinion. Now you can see it's a pretty thick burger. As you can see. As you can see. What you want to do is just slay it on the ground. On one side, let it sear. And on the other side, let it sear and then chop it up. Just like we're going to do now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it magic. Uh, it seems like our burger is done. On both sides, nicely charred. As you can see. Now don't worry if it's a little red in the middle. That's what we want. Now we're gonna chop up the burger. Just like so. Just like so. But before we do that, you wanna add a little bit of salt. That should do. You don't want too much salt and a little bit of pepper to get some flavor. A little bit of pepper just to get some flavor. A little too much pepper, but it's still going to be a lot of flavor. Just scoop some of the flavor off. 
put it in your salad. You don't want to waste the pepper. Now we're going to chop up this nice burger, just like so. You want to chop it right in the middle, because it's still going to be kind of raw in the middle. That's what we want. See that? Perfectly. Perfectly. Now, I know it looks a little too red to be vegan, but trust me, this is top quality. Top quality. Just like that, you've got a chopped up meat. And just like that, we're going to let it sit for a couple of minutes, just to let it cut. Normally, you want the beef to be 80%, 20%. The more fat you have in the beef, the better it's going to taste, and the better it is for you. Now, I prefer mine 70-30, if you can find it in any market. But usually, people will usually get 80-20 or 90-10. To be honest with you, the more lean your meat, it's not going to taste as good without the fat. That's just me. If you want it, if you want it, if you want it to be the taste, best tasting meat, that's what you want to aim for. Now, unfortunately, this is vegan meat, so it's not going to have that much fat, but it's artificial. Now that our meat's done, we're going to let it right into the salad. Just like this, our meat is done. Nice and seasoned and great with perfection. Now, notice there's a little bit of fat here. You don't want to never waste your meat. So what we're going to do is eat an egg on top of it. Now eggs are most important for your dietary, for your diet every day. We use naturally 100% organic eggs made from fake chickens. So it's not real chickens and it's organic and vegan. It's just in the shell because, you know, for presentation purposes. What we're gonna do, simply sunny side up. Use that fat to cook it. Now normally people will add salt. There's already enough salt in this as it is. So we don't know salt is necessary. We're just gonna let it cook how it is. Just like that. Now, for the last part of the salad, and the best part, we're gonna add some cheese. Right on top of the beef. Now normally I would melt the cheese in the beef, in the, in the pan. But I wanted to make room for the eggs and the eggs not to get too sticky. So we're just going to put the cheese on top of it. What cheese is this? Who knows? It's organic vegan cheese, as you can see. Now the cheese is not going to melt, necessarily. If you want melted cheese, just put it in the pan while you're cooking the beef. Now the last thing we're going to do is use this lemon and lime to garnish and put it in the salad. Now I eat the whole lemon and the whole lime. So what you want to do, simply just spritz the lime all over. Yes, even on the cheese. It's all gonna taste good. And if your lime has seeds in it, and your lemon has seeds in it, that's even better. The seeds are actually really healthy for you. You want to make sure you want to eat the whole lemon. The whole lemon and the whole lime. Now we're gonna squirt the lime. Same way, if you're too weak, just get you a press, a lime press, or a fruit press, and just press the fruit just like that. But, I'm a strong man, and Ooga Booga Booga is definitely the guy for me. Next, we're going to chop up. Next, we're going to chop up our lemon and lime and put it in the salad. Make sure you wash your lemon beforehand. You don't want a nasty lemon or a nasty lime. We're just going to cut it just like so. Peep the grip work, y'all. Take the seed out, because you can't eat the seed, fortunately. Because I'll be eating it too. Take the seed out. Fit the lime just like so. And voila, you have a very special salad. And there we go. A beautiful salad. But it's not over yet. Now for the last part of this, we're going to shake the shallot to make sure all the ingredients are incorporated into one. We're going to top it with our egg, and then we're going to move on to the oatmeal. Yes, the oatmeal has been done for quite some time now. 
But in preparation for this video, we have another hotter ready oatmeal just for you. The bad bitches live in bubbles, that's a fucking fact. Ain't no patty bitches crabby, I got hella ass. I bought my strap into the club, I'm trying to throw it back. And I just hit a bitch and he a pussy, don't I have that? I'm deep the fuck, I'm DDD. I hit you block in every corner like a fucking DVD. They said the girl he couldn't rap, sit the kitchen, leave him be. I hit him all the black clips and buzz away, I'm trying to see him bleed. Mm -hmm. I get cash money like a TMB. Damn bitch, bitches act funny when they see me. Now as you can see, our egg is nicely cooked with the yolk still running. You want the yolk on top because it's gonna give you that nice flavor. That nice, tender flavor. Bro, that's a beautiful egg. This is probably my best egg. Now, let's transfer the egg to our bowl. Look at this perfectly good cooked egg. Now, I will be showing you the ingredients that what I use to make my oatmeal go from bloat meal to goat meal. First, what you want to do is make sure you get some nice fresh blueberries, blackberries, or raspberries. And if you're one of those heathens, strawberries. But let's be honest, if you're watching this video, you're a real one. And you will use nice organic blueberries. Look at these blueberries, y'all. And if you're from other places, you can use whatever type of other berries you want. Blackberries, blueberries, huckleberries, shucks, anything. Now, the most important and the best version of this is what you want to do. Take your nice, natural, organic peanut butter, just take a nice little spoon, use the same spoon you use to mix your oatmeal for the oat for this part. And just one dollop of peanut butter and it should get Well I'm a little extra hungry, so I'm doing a dollop and a half. Just for good measure. Next what you want to do is some nice organic honey. Now, I know it doesn't say organic, but it's a grade A honey, so it's still the same thing. And what you want to do is add a little sweetness. Just like that. We got our sweet, we got our salty from the peanut butter, and we got our savory or bitterness from the berries. Last but not least, you want a little bit extra crunch for much. Shout out my boy Dave Drops. You want to use some nice good old trail mix. Now personally, this is just if I'm feeling a little freaky that day. And it's special for the video. I don't normally do this, but you know, it is what it is. Now what you want to do to make sure don't get a big heaping thing of raisins. What you want to do, just top it on the side just like this. Make sure you get enough nuts in there. Because you want the nuts in there. And that should, that should, that should be about enough. And there you go, y'all. Now be taste testing each food product to make sure it is great for the not only for your body, your soul, but also Uga Ramanaba Yalamandaba do. Let's taste the salad first. Y'all can see it's a healthy salad. Mmm. Amazing. Great! Wow! You can really taste all the flavors in this. It's really good. Wow! I outdid myself on that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's amazing. Now, let's taste the oatmeal real quick. 
I would like to mix up my oatmeal first. Make sure you get all the ingredients in there for that spectacular bite. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Amazing. A delightful bite. Gooey. Peanut buttery. Sweet but tart. Just amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed. This, is ha this has been a wonderful experience. If you would love to learn how to cook more foods, come through on this channel and we will drop you amazing tips on how to cook more amazing dishes. I am the Enlightened Child and I would like to send off with a song of ritual for our Lord and Savior. Uga a booga la booga. Follow me. Uga a booga booga. Donald Trump Jr. Please let us be indulged in your enlightenment, for I do not know what I'm going to do after this. Hopefully, everybody that watches this video will leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Come through on the Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash beautiful Nick, because he is a great guy. Please allow them to experience the enlightenment from that gentleman. And thank you for Beautiful Nick for sponsoring not only this video, but also sponsoring the food that is provided for us. Without him, Rancho Cucamonga, Cucamonga College, and of course you, Uga Baran, Jr. Well, it seems like some people don't know how to know not to record when they're told not to. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. Y'all didn't see anything. Ever. You understand me? You got the message? Well, that being said, if you would like to join this fabulous organization, there's a link down below. Feel free to join. To learn our way. I'm pretty sure he should have told you that. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you want to learn how to cook and nothing else. Or if so, you want to learn our ways, also join the Discord down below. We love when people come through. We're always open to new recruits. Ah, ah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just wanted Get to cook. Get him out of here. I, just I don't want, want to, to hear him. Please don't. Take him to the chamber. Okay. I'm so well, sorry. hope you enjoyed that video. Here at Rancho Cucamonga University Ranch, we love for all of you to enjoy the enlightenment. Who am I, you ask? There's no need for you to know. Just know that I'm here to help you. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Enjoy your time. <laughs>